Hey everyone, my name is Kanaya Gupta and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss separate the number hacker rank problem. But before moving ahead, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any update. Let's start. In this problem, a numeric string S is beautiful if it can be split into a sequence of two or more positive integers, which satisfying the following condition. And these are the conditions which a string needs to satisfy to become beautiful. These are the couple of example guys. So I'll just explain all these condition with the help of this example. And these are the following condition. AI minus AI minus 1 equals to 1. Each element in a sequence is one more than the previous element. So if you see this string, each element in this string is a one more than the previous element. 2 is one more than the 1. 3 is one more than the 2. Similarly, right? So each element in this string is one more than the previous one. So this is the first condition guys. The second condition is no AI contains a leading zero. So you will not find any string such that s equals to 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. And if you split this, the sequence will become this. So you can see the leading zero, right? So this is not a beautiful string. And the third point is the contents of the sequence cannot be rearranged. It means 1, 2, 3 is a valid string, but 3, 1, 2 is not. We can split s equals to 3, 1, 2 into 3, 1, 2. But it's not a beautiful string because it breaks our first constraint. The first constraint says it should be a 1 more than the previous one. So in that, if you see, this one is not more than the previous one. Or basically, ai minus ai minus 1 is equals to minus 2 here instead of 1. So it's breaking this rule. So it's not a beautiful string. So these are a couple of example guys. Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 is a beautiful string because it's satisfying all the constraint which is mentioned here. It's an incremented way and the difference between any these two adjacent is 1. Right? AI minus AI minus 1 equals to 1. And there's no leading zeros. Right? For this string, if you say 9, 10, 11. So in that also, if you see, it's an incremented way. And it's satisfying all the constraint. For the third one, if you see 99 and 100. So it's also satisfying the criteria. Guys, here in the string, you don't know exactly whether it's a one digit sequence or two digit sequence. That's, we have to figure it out whether it's a one digit or two digit. And based on that, in an output, if the sequence is proper, we have to print its beautiful string, yes, with the starting number from where the sequence start. So this is what we have to do. Given a string, we have to find out whether the string is beautiful or not. If it's beautiful, we have to print yes along with the starting sequence. So for this, starting sequence is 1. For this, starting sequence is 9. And for this, starting sequence is 99. So the output will be yes, space 1, yes, space 9, and yes, space 99. This is the input format, guys. The first line contains an integer q, the number of string to evaluate. Each of the next Q lines contain an integer string S to query. And this is the given constraint where S string can be of up to 32 characters. And this is the output format guys. For each query, print an answer on a new line either yes, X, where X is the smallest first number of the increasing sequence or no. So this is the sample input guys. 7 is the number of queries. So we have 7 queries here and these are the query strings. So this is the explanation guys. So we have 7 queries here and this is the output. How it came? So this is the explanation for the same guys. The first 3 numbers are beautiful. See the diagram above. The remaining numbers are not beautiful. So let's just see the first 3 number. So guys if you remember, we have already seen this right so this is all are valid or beautiful string because these all string are satisfying 
the constant which is mentioned in the question. So if you start with 1, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. And here, if you start with 9, 9, 10, 11. And if you start with 99, it's 99, 100. So it's first digit sequence. And here is a two digit sequence. Right? Let's talk about the next one. So for S equals to 101103, all possible split violates the first or second condition. Why? If you take 1 as a starting sequence, then it should be a 2. So this is not a valid one. And if you take 10 as a starting sequence, I mean the two digit starting sequence, then it should be 10, 11, 12. But it, there is no 12 at all. And if you take the three digit sequence, then it should be 101 and 102. And if you take the four digit sequence, there is nothing to come up with a if you take the four digit sequence 1011 1, then it should be 1012 but you don't need to check because if you take the sequence the next sequence you will build 1011 1, 1 and 1012 1, which is a longer than this string so you don't need to validate ahead so you have to validate till the half of the length right so this is violating the first and second constraint let's talk about the next string this string is clearly violates the second rule which says there should not be no leading zeros so it starts with a zero so all possible split violates the second condition that's why this is also not a beautiful string let's talk about the next one 13 the only split is possible 1 and 3 which violates the first condition where ai minus ai minus 1 should be equals to 1 but here it's 2 so it's violating that so this is also not a beautiful string if s equals to 1 there are no possible split because s only has one digit so that is the reason this is also not a beautiful string so based on that we'll print no 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 here if it's a beautiful we have to print the starting sequence if it's not we have to print no so i hope guys this problem statement is clear to you now we'll try to build the logic around it Let's take this example guys, where we have 2 is the number of queries and these are 2 strings. Let's take the first example first. So this is the string guys and we have to validate whether this string is a beautiful or not. This string will be beautiful only when it satisfies the 3 criteria which is mentioned in the problem statement. So what we are going to do guys, we will take this string and generate all possible beautiful string of digit 1, digit 2, digit 3 and so on and compare with this initial string. If this string is matching any of the string then we are done. We can say this is also a valid string or basically a beautiful string else not. Let's see the example guys. So in this case first I am generating a beautiful string of digit 1. So if you take the digit 1, what will be the beautiful string sequence? It will be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And why we are not going beyond that? Because you always make sure this the length of this string should be equal to this. It should not go beyond the length of this. So whenever you append or generating this string, it's going beyond this length, you will stop. Because if the string is long, then this cannot be equal to this right so we have generated a one digit sequence here so you can see 9 10 11 12 13 and we'll stop because now this length is less than equals to this length basically this should be of this length so this should we have a equal length of this it cannot go beyond this and we'll compare this string with this whatever we have generated with the one digit sequence. So if you compare with this, whether both are equal or not, no, both are not equal. So this is not a valid one. So let's try with a two digit sequence. So this time we are going to try with a two digit sequence. So what will be the two digit sequence guys? 9900 and 101 because the second two digit, because the initial two digit was 99. So we'll start from 9900 and 101. 
Why we stopped on 101? Because the length of this string is 2 plus 3 plus 3, which is 8. And the length of this string is 2 plus 3 plus 3, which is also 8. So we have to stop this beautiful sequence when it reaches to the length. If it's going beyond the length, stop immediately and just compare this with this. So in this case, if you compare this string with this, you can see both are equal. So it means this is a beautiful sequence and we will print yes and we have to print the sequence also, the initial digit, whether it's a two digit sequence, three digit sequence or what. So here 99 is a starting digit. So we'll print yes 99, right? Let's take the second example or second string this time. So this is the second query guys, right? So in this also we are going to following the same thing. We'll try with the first digit beautiful sequence and we'll see whether it's matching with this string or not. So once you generate the first digit sequence, what it will be? 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll not go beyond that. Otherwise, it will exceed the range. So we'll compare this. It's matching or not? No. So let's try with the two digit sequence now. So what will be the two digit sequence? If you take the two digit, it will be 92, 93, 94. Then we'll compare this with the initial string. Whether it's matching or not. If it's matching, it's valid or beautiful. If it's not, then it's not a beautiful. So then we'll try with the third guess. There may be a sequence of the three digit. So we'll take three digit now, which is the 920. So what will be the beautiful sequence based on that? 920, 921. We don't have to go beyond that because we have to check the length also. Now compare this with the initial one. Whether it's equal or not? No. So this is also not a valid sequence. Now we don't need to check for the fourth digit sequence. Why guys? Because you have to only check the sequence up to the middle of the string. Basically the length of the string whatever it is you have to check up to the mid. The main reason why we have to check till the middle of this string if you take the sequence of 4 digit 9209 and the next sequence you whatever you will append it will be of the same length. So it will exceed the length. 4 plus again 4 which is 8 and that string will never be equal to this. That is the reason we will break the loop once we reaches to the middle point. So generate all the sequence which is till the middle of the string. So we have tried one digit sequence which is this. We have tried second digit sequence. We have tried third digit sequence and so on. We will keep on trying all these sequence until we reaches to the middle. If it matches to any one of these, we will print yes and along with the starting sequence whose sequence is satisfying this condition else we will print no. So the output of this string will be no. I hope guys this is clear to you. So whatever I have done, I have just written in a simple and plain language as an algorithm in the next slide and we will go one by one. So this is the algorithm guys. So what you need to do? Check every possible substring which is a number of different length like one digit sequence, two digit sequence, then three digit like that up to the mid length of the input string. I told you guys why it's mid length. You don't need to go beyond that. So you need to check every sequence of the substring till the mid of the input string. Set the substring number you are working on as a first element of your beautiful string. So whatever the input string you have and you will take the substring that will be your first element. Save your substring or number starting sequence so that you can use it later. It means you have to save that string part. Guys we have saved 99, 9. Why? Because of the, if this is a beautiful string you have to print with your answer right? If it's a beautiful string you have to print yes and after space you have to print the starting sequence. So take the starting sequence and save it somewhere so that you can use this letter if it's a beautiful sequence. So set the same substring as a valid string. It means take that substring whatever you have just 
identified like one digit, two digit or three digit substring and initially assign it to a valid string and use its valid string to generate a complete string which is having the length which is equals to the input string. So increment the first valid string. So this is the first valid string guys. You have to increment the string and add it to the valid string you have just created. So what you have to do? What are the valid string you got? Increment the first valid string and add it to the valid string you have just created. Basically if you have created 9 you have to just increment it to a 10 and append it. So right? So what you need to do? You will start building a sequence like if you have 9 create a string which is next to it. What will be the next digit? 10. So append it. And what will be the next digit of 10? 11. Just append it. So like that you have to build a sequence of the string with the same length. And you have to make sure the length of this string should not exceed from the input length. And we have to stop doing this once your valid string length exceeded the length of the input string. Once this length is going beyond the input string, you will stop building the sequence. And the what are the sequence you have that you will compare. So compare the valid string you created is equals to the input string. If it's true, it's beautiful. If it's not, go to step 2 which is this and try with a new incremented substring. That's one digit longer. It means initially we'll try this complete step with a one digit of sequence. If it did not work out, we'll try with the second digit, then third digit like that and so on till the middle of the input string, right? I hope guys this algorithm is pretty much clear to you and if you are still not convinced how it worked, I'll suggest you just go one step back and see those example again. I'm sure you will crack it. Let's see the algorithm in action guys. So this is the method guys separate the number and that we have an input as a string. So I've taken a substring guys initially it's empty string and one variable which is a boolean is valid equals to false. So this is the loop guys and I already explained you why this loop will go till the half of the length right. So we'll start from 1. So first I'll take a string of length 1. So this is a substring guys and I'll convert this into a number. Why? Because I need to increment that number right. And then I'll assign the same substring to a valid string because initially I'm thinking this is a valid string and we'll generate a valid string of the same size of the input size. So that is the reason we'll append the valid string with the incremented number here. I'll keep on doing these things until and unless valid string length is less than equals to the input string length. Once we generate a string, we'll just compare if that string is equals to a valid string or not. So what are the valid string we generated? If it's equals to the input string, it means it's valid. Or basically, here valid means beautiful. So it's valid, we'll mark it as true and we'll break the loop because we know what are the string we are dealing with that is a beautiful string. So at the end, if it's valid, we'll print yes and we'll print the substring. Basically the starting sequence. So we know the starting sequence of the string will be the same. That is the reason we are storing this substring in this variable so that you can print it if it's a valid substring or basically a beautiful substring. So we'll print it. If it's not valid, we'll print no. So this is the logic guys. I hope you got the idea how you are going to solve this question. If you find this tutorial helpful guys, please like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys.